for your cheapest and most reliable place to buy your FC25 coins, please check out mmoexp.com. Remember to use the code WOLF at a checkout for a massive 5% off your order. Link is down in the description below. Go and check them out right now. Yes then YouTube, we are back in a formation that has been what I like to call your bread and butter for the last few years. It has had a bit of a slight nerf, but let me know in the comment section down below. Is the 4-3-2-1 making a comeback? So in today's video, I'm going to show you the 4-3-2-1 custom tactics that I am currently using, or at least have tried over the last few days. And I have to admit, it is a very good formation. It, it, is it as good as it has been? I'm not sure. But it is definitely still usable, meta, and a viable option. But first, drop this video a like for me. Drop a comment down below. And if you can hit that subscribe button to my channel, that would mean the world to me. So without any further ado, the code, by the way, will be the top pinned comment in the comment section. And you will see it in the last 15 or 20 seconds of the video as well. So, custom on the tactical preset, 4-3-2-1. Then on the build-up style, if any of you have watched any of my recent videos, you will know I am dr drumming the counter. Yes, I am. The counter, in my opinion, is the best build-up style you can currently use on FC25. It is amazing. Basically, when we get the ball, our players will make forward runs, but then when we lose the ball, they will run back quickly into their defensive shape. That's what makes it so, so, so overpowered. Then with the defensive approach, yes, you probably already know what it is going to be. It is going to be 61 on the line height, so 61 on the defensive depth. So they're the tactics that I'm currently using. Without any further ado, let's get into the player role. Check out trustdice.wing. Link is down in the description below. Enjoy 8,000 plus crypto games, up to 20% cash back, fast withdrawal system, and a 24 seven life support. You do have popular games in the casino, and you also have a live casino if you do want to check it out. Link is down in the description below. Check them out. Now, I will show you without the ball first because without the ball, it is it defends in a 4-3-2-1 very easy. If any of you don't know on FC25, the formation that you are playing the game with, so for example, a 4-3-2-1, a 4-4-2, 4-2-3-1, 5-2-1-2, blah, 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 etc, etc. That is the formation that you have to defend with. It's a little bit of a game changer in terms of because last year, remember, in the 4-3-2-1, we could defend in a 4-4-2, which was very, very, very overpowered. So we do have to defend in a traditional 4-3-2-1. So there it is without the ball. With the ball, wait there, let me change it without the ball first. So I'll show you without the ball and then I'll show you what it looks like in game with the ball. So my striker is on advance forward and attack nice and easy. A versatile attacker who usually stays close to the opposition's defensive line but opens themselves up for passes in the build-up and makes runs in behind for scoring chances. False nine is definitely good and poacher as well but I think advance forward and attack. The right-sided like cam is then on shadow striker and attack and that is exactly the same for my left-sided striker as well. So left-sided cam, should I say. Shadow striker and attack. This just means that they basically play as three centre forwards like last year rather than three cams this year. So definitely give that a go and let me know. The left-sided central midfielder though is of course going to be on playmaker and attack. So the left-sided central midfielder will have a lot of license to get forward on that left-hand side. Exactly the same as last year. Remember last year I had my left central midfielder on get into the box across and get forward. That is pretty much what the playmaker role and the attack focus is this year. The middle centre midfielder, exactly the same as last year, holding and defend. So that player's job is to just shield and protect the back four, not move from that traditional number six position, win the ball back, and then of course, just give it to the better players. The left side is centre midfielder, is then going to be a box to box, and that is exactly the same as last year's 4 3 2 1. Remember, I had my left central, my right central midfielder, sorry, should I say, last year on just completely default. That is kind of like what box to box is. That central midfielder will just stay there, get forward, and help out in the defensive third of the game. My right back is then on full back and defend. So, very similar to stay back while attacking on my right back from last year. So, full back and defend on the right back. Both centre backs. It doesn't really make a difference if you want ball playing defender or defender. It really doesn't. I just have them both on defend and defend. Nice and easy. And then this is the most important part. Have your left back on attacking wing back and attack. So attacking wing back 
and attack. And then the goalkeeper, by the way, it does not matter what you use. I've used both sweeper keeper and goalkeeper. They are both exactly the same. So whichever one your goalkeeper has the plus or plus plus on with the FC IQ, just use that. So that's without the ball. And you see with the ball, there it is. The 4-3-2 on his back. Very, very, very. Very similar to last year's and the years before 4-3-2. And with the Shadow Striker on the cam, that is where you really need it because that really does help in terms of the cams really playing as centre forwards and attackers rather than cams because sometimes you can find that you're struggling to create goal scoring opportunities in the 4-3-2-1. Whereas if you put the Shadow Striker on both the cams, that really does help. And then you will see the code on your screen right now. And that is going to be the end of the video, YouTube. If you did enjoy it, you know what to do. Drop it a like for me. Drop a comment down below. And if you can hit that subscribe button to my channel, that will mean the world to me. Thank you for watching. Remember, spread the love and positivity. PMA positive, man. Attitude. Peace out. One love.